Desperation for relief supplies in Balaklia, one of the towns occupied until last week when Russia's forces were driven out. President Volodymyr Zelensky declaring 4,000 square kilometres of territory has been liberated since the beginning of the month and more is being fully secured. The last occupiers and saboteurs are being detected, collaborators are being detained and full security is being restored. Those gains have emboldened Ukraine's forces to keep pushing back the Russian invaders. They were running like mice. They even shot one of their own, who was wounded just to get away. Moscow has described its retreat from the northeast Kharkiv region as a regrouping to redouble its efforts in eastern Ukraine. But on Russian state television, there have been admissions of loss, with at least one politician risking punishment to call for a ceasefire. We want to defeat Ukrainian army. It seems like it's practically impossible, because it's strong army, really strong army, and Ukrainians are supported by, by practically all the European countries. But the toll on Ukrainians is undeniable. And for some, liberation has come too late. I want to ask Putin why he killed my son. For what? And I speak to all the mothers of the world. Rebel against that assassin. It's clear the scars of this conflict will remain. John Lyons, ABC News.